Hello everyone. It is October 30th, Friday, October 30th. Just a little announcement. Uh, tomorrow evening around 6 o'clock Mountain Time, Nina from Nine's Corner, Danny from um, Bathrobe Tarot, and I are going to go live on Halloween night. It's going to be a lot of fun. Please join us. Today I'm going to do something different. I'm going to do what we call a seven day forecast and it's going to be in a different type of spread. This spread takes a little while that's why most people don't use it but I'm going to. So I'm going to do Lindsey Graham, Mitch McConnell and then 45. See with the seven day forecast which will take us up to the election and then um, two days past the election. See what's going on. All right, I'm going to do the first round is going to be the hidden information and the second round is going to be what we know. So this is uh, Lindsey Graham. Lindsey Graham. Two, three, five. So today one two, three, four, five, six, and seven. This is Lindsey Graham. All right, so this will be election day. So what we have here for Lindsey Graham is bad luck, negative forces, out of control, vicious cycle, disappointment, and stuck. This is what we know. This is what we see. But the hidden is greed, miser, um, <laughs> penny smart, but pound of foolishness. <laughs> I can't make this stuff up. So this is representation of Lindsey Graham. Then we have today. Today is going to be guilt, resentment, rage, anger, blocking of emotions. His rage is raging. He also got the hidden, which is the chariot, which is lack of control and direction and aggression. So this is Lindsey Graham today. So tomorrow. Tomorrow is also overindulgence, social angst, adultery, affair, third party, threes a crowd. That's interesting. Then we got the hierophant, spiritual guidance, um, wisdom. So he, this is what happens. This is what he does today to handle all of his stress. And then the hidden realm is he's supposed to be this spiritual guy. This is also inverted, which is the Ten of Pentacles, which is wealth um, inverted. Sorry, inverted, which is financial fa failure, uh, poor investments. Then the hidden realm is um, can't express himself. <laughs> Yes, and learning disability, meaning he it doesn't get it. Um, learning disability doesn't mean anything other than um, he is not able to grasp reality as is as it, as it is with for him. That makes sense. Okay, so um, financial disarray, discord, lack of priorities. This is the day before the election. And this one here is uh, achieving first stage, failure planning, courage, overcome obstacles. Hmm. They think they got it. They think that he's got it. So we have the nine of pentacles, which is the five of swords. This is election day for him. Strife, um, argument, tension, betrayal, loss, defeat is um, election day for him. And what is out on the outside is the good income, luxury, but it's inverted. So we have financial setbacks. Okay. This right here is what we don't know is judgment. Renewal and rebirth is judgment. Then we have... Um, Politics, good advice, valuable assistance. And this is the sun is inverted. So loneliness, isolation, a lack of success, disappointment. 
He loses his, his, it looks like he loses his race. Don't give up, break free, avoiding arguments, clumsy. This is also the Seven of Swords, which is beware of deceit and betrayal strategies. They're going to really try to get them all back in. Okay, so that's Lindsey Graham. Looks like he loses his, his race on election day. So let's do Mitch McConnell. Let's do Mitch McConnell. King of Swords trying to help the All right, Mitch McConnell. Let's see what his next 7 days are going to be like. All right, Mitch McConnell. Hidden. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Election day for him. And what we know. Whoops. Ooh, he gets the tower moment on election day. Chaos. He gets the tower moment on election day. All right. Representation, king of wands, born leader, blah, 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 yeah. But underneath is heartbreak, dwelling in the past, blocked griefs. So his representation, what he thinks we, we should see about him, but the hidden information is he's got heartbreak underneath or heart problems because of medical issues. That could be. Very well. Today, queen of cups. New romance, new horizons. That's interesting. The hidden realm is rigid, um, inflexible, tyranny, abuse of power. That's today. That's what represents him today. So whatever he's doing today. Okay. So we have the star and in inverted to, um, for tomorrow is disappointment, despair, arrogance, pride, loss, theft. Then the hidden realm. Nine of Swords, worry, worry, worry. He's very worried, um, anxiety, overwhelmed, guilt, rage. This is him tomorrow. All right, so this is three, day three, which is outward investment, work, financial setbacks. This is what we're going to know. Well, what we don't know is lack of security, um, Decreased income, lack of foresight, planning, wasted opportunity. So then we have election day. I don't know if this represents him or how he's going to feel on election day, but he definitely got the tower. The chaos, the craziness, the um, delusion blown away on election day. What is hidden is the queen of swords is cold hearted. Communication problems, making obstruction difficulty, and problem solving. So either he loses his race, or he's angry about 45 losing his, his, his race. The next day, Ace of, Wand, Ace of Cups, which is blocked, anger, rage, guilt. This is the day after election. He's not feeling very well. And then we have the world, failure. No need to finish or, or what you start. No, no closure. So he's not feeling very well after election day. And then day seven, we have the Ten of Swords holding on to the pain, fear of ruin. So he, this is Mitch McConnell. He is not doing very well. And then the hidden realm is poor planning, abuse of power again. So they're going to try something, but this is, this is really good news, people. This was Mitch McConnell. And he's going to be in chaos in the tower moment and recognize that 45 is going to lose on election day. Or he does. Either one that is. Okay, let's do 45. Try and put them all upright so when they do come around inverted, not my problem. 
<laughs> All right, this is the last one, 45. His seven day forecast. Just something different. Same old, same old. Kind of gets boring. Okay. This is 45's seven day four to cast Hidden Realm. Seven. And what we see, King of Swords. You can't. I can't make this stuff up, people. That's my card for a forty-five. Okay. Here we go. So forty-five representation of forty-five. You know the King of Swords, and it's usually the upright or the inverted, which is um, overly critical, disappointed, Tarrant. Um, violent, selfish, vengeful, biased, manipulative, but he is trying to um, represent the other side, which is professional lawyer advisor. I mean, he's really trying to to trying to um, cover up his inverted seven of cups is also the hidden, the delusion. He's under delusion, 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 fancying this, surprise choices, wishful thinking, um, things like that. So this is representation of 45. So today, today is going to be a good day for 45. Look what we have for what we're going to see. Chaos. Um, it's a tower moment. Delusion. Blown away. Breakdown. We're going to possibly see a breakdown today. Or in the next couple of days. Then we have the Two of Cups, which is a loving reunion, helping um, agreement, recognition, and affair. So something is really weird today. He's got chaos here, but he's trying, trying to buddy up and have a, a reunion with somebody. I don't think it's going it's to cause a lot of chaos. All right. So tomorrow, which is inverted. The Hierophant is inverted, which is um, conceit, um, listening to your inner voice. Uh, it's not good. Ignorance, hidden agenda. They're coming up with a plan. Maybe that person that he's buddying up to cause a lot of chaos, they're coming up with a plan. And then inverted is a full, careless, reckless, apathy, neglect, gullible. So that's tomorrow. So what do we have today? Which is also the King of Wands, inverted, impulse, hasty, ruthlessness, um, a double life. <laughs> that's... And then we have the King of Cups um, underneath the Hidden Realm. The King of Cups always represents um, Biden for me. So I have a feeling that he's living in power, hungry, stuff like that. And he's going to go after Biden um, really, really strong. Ugh. All right. So what we have here is the Hierophant. Which the Hierophant is a spiritual guidance. Let's see what's down here. That means it's inverted. Okay. Um, um, non, so status quo, domestic representation. This is the day before the election. Six of Cups, childhood memories, at home, goodwill, kindness, harmony. I don't know what that means. But it's almost like he's trying to represent. He's meeting with somebody, trying to case chaos. He's... They have they have something going on. He has a plan for the day before um, election day. All right. So we have election day, which is burdens. Burdens. Worrying the other people, what other people think, things like that. So what's the hidden one? Hope, faith. He's he well. He goes into um, the election day with hope and faith. That everything's going to go well. Which this is the day after the elections. This is memory loss, tyranny, failed, 
failed. This is the day after failed communication, um, misuse of power, misuse of information, confused. This is the day after the election. And this is also the hidden realm, uh, the day after a lack of term of vision, um, hot, uh, haste, frustration, discord. This is the day after. So again, not doing well. This is the two days after the election, which he gets strength inverted, which is weak, self-doubt, pity, um, lack of discipline, vain, arrogant, and um, loses heart. He knows he lost. And then the second one is doubt, selfishness, one-sided charity, conceited. Yeah, he's going to lose his S. He's going to lose his crap. Um, the day after election. So there you go. That's 45. I hope that helped everyone. I really, really do hope that helped. I just wanted to dump on here real quick and make a short video. Uh, probably going to put this at the end of my video today. Um, please be kind to your readers. They're struggling. Uh, I know that I am, and most of them are feeling the chaos, they're feeling the energy, they're feeling the worry um, come about in this country, and they're really working hard to stay out of the negative energy, the negative thoughts, and, the, and stuff like that, and bring you some comfort. And when we're out there making comments, just be aware that if they're not up to what they're normally standard or they're normally how they present themselves is because they're you know they're they're trying to work through it as well but just know that we're here for you and uh, nothing that we do is is to be made fun of or if we made a mistake or anything like that nobody deserves that my uh, spiritual advisor always tell me there's always a way to do it kindly. So just send them love. Please be kind to them. They're working hard. Each and every one of them are doing the best that they can right now with the energy and the chaos that's going on in the United States. So thanks, everyone. I'm glad that you show up. I'm glad that you're here. And I'm very grateful. Thanks.